Λοιπόν, να αφήσουμε τους Nirvana στο Reading και να πάμε στη Νέα Υόρκη. Hello, Robert. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm very good, how are you doing? Okay, just fine. Welcome to Channel One. So, first of all, let's talk about the Roxy Music tribute album, your wonderful cover there. Okay. Okay, tell me about your cover. Well, we, uh, yeah. We uh, were approached by uh, uh, by Burning Sky Records uh, to let us let a whole bunch of bands know on MySpace that they were going to be doing this tribute. And uh, as soon as I heard that, I was like, Oh my God! I, you know, this is <laughs> a dream come true for me. I've been a huge rock and music fan, and one of my one of my very early influences. Yeah. So uh, a long time ago, in, in our band, we had an acoustic act, and we had done Mother of Pearl acoustically, and uh, so. Immediately, I, I, said, I said, that's the song we want to do, Mother of Pearl. And he came back and he said, no, no one has chosen that song yet, so you guys have it. And uh, immediately I went into panic mode. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, what did I, what did I just do? <laughs> Mother of Pearl is... is uh, a great challenge, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was quite a challenge. Yeah. And, uh, so we, um, it's really a fantastic cover. Oh, really thanks, great cover, thanks. yeah, yeah. A fantastic um, tribute album, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think all the bands on the tribute album were just uh, were just awesome. I, I'm, I'm very, very uh, honored to be a part of it. But uh, we um, we had mostly like you know, so our, my bass player and programmer uh, John did a lot of the background music. He added the cellos. He actually had his uh, his girlfriend do the, the 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 choir in the background. So he kind of laid the whole bed for you no. Know, it made it easy for me to kind of put my styling on top of it because it was uh, it was just this lush, beautiful arrangement that uh, worked perfectly and. Um, Then I had the idea of asking Mike Garson to play piano on it. Uh, David Bowie's uh, piano. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. To me, to bring those two worlds together, to bring David Bowie and Roxy Music together and have me be the catalyst to sort of pull that all together was absolutely mind-blowing. And uh, I'm so, so happy with the results. I think Mike Garson just like you know, came mm. to in flying mm. colors. And uh, just, it's, a proud, I'm very, it's a piece I'm very proud of. I hear it in the background. It's cool. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, just a very, very proud to be a part of this whole thing. Robert, uh, why the name uh, Lost Logan in Loveland? Uh, good question. Uh, we, the three of us, uh, three core members, have been together for a long time. We started in the mid '80s in a band called Snapshots, and uh, that stayed together for about 12 years. When that broke up, John and I stayed together, and we formed first a band called Bird Number no. Nine, and then that's just maybe a few years later we pulled another band together called Lost Dog. And we stayed together as Lost Dog for probably three or four years, and that was probably, I think, probably the best music that we were producing. It's, mm -hmm. I love the name Lost Dog, and uh, yeah. the music was good. And um, so when we when we finally disbanded that band, we kind of all took you know, hiatus and stopped, really stopped playing. Um, back in 2007, we decided to get back together again with our original guitar player uh, Robert Bunnyman, and um, we were going to come back as Lost Dog, uh, mm -hmm. but we we felt like that was. Um, Kind of, we've already done that. Like, we didn't want to have any expectations as to where the music was going. Mm -hmm. So, as much as I love the name, I just thought maybe a new, fresh feeling. So, uh, yeah. after some thinking, I came up with Loveland, mm. and, uh, and I, I love that name. It had this lush feel. It felt like an experience, uh, like a place to go to. Mm. So, uh, with a quick search on MySpace, I realized there was probably about a dozen Loveland bands. <laughs> so, so, that was going to work. <laughs> So, uh, these two great names I love, Lost Dog and Loveland, but, but both of them didn't feel right. <laughs> so, uh, one day I said, well, if, Lost, if, if Loveland is the experience mm -hmm. and Lost Dog is the band, then it's sort of, it kind of reminded me of like a, a, yeah. a, movie, a movie title, like mm -hmm. Lost Dog starring yeah, yeah. Loveland, you know, and it's, so, so we could still be Lost Dog, but we could be doing this new experience, which mm -hmm. is Loveland. So, really, I, I ran that by the two guys and they both immediately loved it and, uh, and it stuck. That's, when, that's mm -hmm. where we are. Great choice. And <laughs> what about your debut album? Can we expect uh, the album soon? Uh, well, mm. we seem to work at a snail's pace, but we, we were hoping to have this thing out uh, by midsummer, and now we're talking uh, end of year, but honestly, it'll probably be sometime in 2010. Um, we have almost all the tracks recorded. There'll be an album called uh, Sad Anthem. Um, and uh, we, we're in the, the final mixing, but we tend to take a lot of time with mixing. We try to get all the layers right. We have we always have so much going on, and it, it just takes it's just grueling to go through the process of, uh, mm. yeah. of mixing it all down and make sure we all have the sounds right. So we're in that stage now. Like I said, we we, we, we don't get together probably as often as we should. We all have so much going on in our lives that we try to make the time for it, but it just doesn't happen quite as quickly as we'd like. But mm -hmm. 
we try to be diligent and uh, the, the, mu the music sounds great. There's a lot of new songs that nobody has heard that are just, I think, are just awesome, sort of going in a bit different direction. Our early stuff is definitely more Bowie glam sounding. Some of our later stuff yeah. is a mm. little bit more aggressive, a little bit more, um, probably maybe a little more rock feel than the more lush stuff. But it, and it all has the, the sort of our signature sound, but, but uh, it definitely explores other areas that we haven't explored on our EP. So mm -hmm. I'm excited for it. I can't wait to have people hear it. I'm, 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 I'm biting at the bit, but I just have to try to be patient and, and uh, get, it, get it done right. Yeah. That's right. Robert, uh, what about the New York uh, scene nowadays? Can you give us a picture? Yeah, the New York scene is not what it used to be, unfortunately. At least not not for us. Um, we, 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 uh, it's funny with MySpace. We, that's how we, uh, MySpace is probably the, only, the reason why we finally all got back together again. It, it, it just made it too easy not to. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I know. Yes, yeah, so you can distribute your music without ever leaving your bedroom, without even getting out of, out of your pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> you know? uh, yeah all these bedroom rock stars mm. so uh so we we really did it for that reason and um mm -hmm. and uh we uh i'm trying to remember where, where i was going here your question was can you tell us maybe a good story about oh, new, new york, york city york. in the yeah, 70s maybe right. so uh <laughs> but yeah. the style of music that we're playing um mm. really is much more european based we we tend we tend to get a lot of fans from both now from Greece but we get a lot of fans from France a lot of fans from London a lot mm. from Germany I know yeah Australia but uh, the New York scene it just it, it, like I said it, you know back when we started this with bands like Lou Reed and Iggy to me New York was, was the scene but it just seems now New York is much more geared towards um, uh, hip hop music and, and house music and so there's I mean there's, there's we, we have been playing out and we've been doing you know, have some pretty successful shows in New York but it, it's, it's I wish it were more the scene that it used to be Yeah. Back in the day when. Mm. I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, Robert. Thank you very, very much for your time for this interview. You'll be in Codex anyway. Uh, okay. Uh, it's been an honor. I love it. Thank okay. You. Bye bye. Take care. Right. Bye bye. I stared into your eyes. You just sat and stared. 